good morning youtube family and friends welcome back to our channel for another video i know it's been a minute you guys and i just got off of work and i decided let me do a grocery haul because prices on groceries you guys is going up crazy i'm sorry about the lighting if it's too dark but let me get my receipt so i can tell you guys how much i just spent on groceries and i didn't even buy a lot of stuff I just bought a few little essentials. I just spent a hundred and twenty-eight dollars and one cent with my discount on some few groceries. So you guys, if you want to see what I picked up and what came to that cost, stay tuned, keep watching, and enjoy the ride home. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a little bit. I made it back home I hope you guys enjoyed the ride this morning it's just beautiful outside it was pouring down raining all night but right now it's really pretty so I'm gonna do my grocery haul a little bit different I'm just gonna lay everything out um, on the table um, that I have and just show you what I got it's a little bit easier for me um, and then yeah let's get into it okay I'm back so I picked up two of these um, bottles of apple juice great value I picked up 18 eggs case of eggs Dukes mayonnaise corned beef hash some quick five minute grits I also picked up this bottle of canola oil I picked up this Kool-Aid burst um, 
these little grab little sweets pouches for the kids something easy I picked up some sweet baby rays barbecue sauce I also picked up two boxes of yogurt um, these are blueberry strawberry low-fat yogurt tubes and this one is me melon berry and strawberry banana low-fat yogurt tubes the kids actually like those um, these are actually I think a dollar sixty four and they come eight in a box and I also picked up a family size country crock original butter oh and I skipped this one uh, me and our son Romeo we love boiled peanuts and I haven't treated him in a while or myself so I, I got this big can just for him because <laughs> he loves boiled peanuts as much as I do all right let me set up the rest of the items all right guys I'm back so I got this mega size cocoa pebbles I also got this 12 pack of noodles chicken flavor I got one of these flaky layers um, biscuits I also picked up these seafood snackers I love these ones from Walmart it's four of them there I got six hard-boiled eggs I got a family a mega pack actually ultra thin honey ham I got um, the Gautney hardwood smoked sliced bacon I picked up one of these lactate fat free milks I only got one because I had to pay for this one and I get weak tomorrow so then I can get more tomorrow um, I had picked up this half a gallon of orange juice I picked up some mini cucumbers, one tomato, a bunch of um, bananas, and a head of butter lettuce. Alright guys, so the last few items I got were this Pampers Swaddler size 7. Because our daughter, she's 2 years old, but she's not potty trained yet. So she actually just ran out of diapers, so I had to restock on that. I know it's not a food item, but it's uh, essential. Um, we got a case of Great Value Water. I got this little case of Gold Peak Sweet Tea. That is my tea, you guys. I like that tea a lot. And I got two packs of Nature's Own Butter Bread. And that is it. Alright, you guys. So, that is all I got for the little essentials that I picked up that we needed. Um, we need a whole lot more. Um, we are a family of seven. If this is your first time coming to our channel, we are a family of seven, two adults, me and hubby, and five kids. So this is not even touch what our family size require or need. Um, this is just a few things that I picked up. And just for those few things along, was, it came up to, um, with my discount, $128.01 at Walmart. That's a lot, you guys. That is a lot of money for those, <clears throat> excuse me, for those few essentials. Just imagine if we did a real true grocery haul, we will be spending so much money. Um, I don't even know truly how much we would truly spend for a week worth of grocery for our family because our kids can eat and so can us parents. But we can limit ourselves to a degree, but the kids, when they see stuff, they want to eat. And, yeah, that's how it is. Um, with the grace of God, we survive. With the grace of God, we get through. God always says that what he gives you, as in what he blesses you with, your children. Children are such a blessing. He will provide for his children. People ask me all the time, Nicole, girl, I don't know how you have all those kids. And I don't know how you still want to have more. How are you going to provide for them? How are you going to pay college tuitions? How are you going to, you know, get essentials? Kids are expensive. Oh, that's what a lot of people tell me. Um, to me, it's the way you raise your children. Um, um, of what they will be geared to look for. As in the cost of clothing, shoes, and stuff like that. If you raise your children to look for name brand stuff. They're going to expect you to always have those name brand things. See, our family, we shop 
we shop around Burlington Co. Battery, Walmart, Target, all different places. Um, sorry about the lighting, guys. I keep twinkling out. But um, the reason why I say this is, is just to say God has given us this beautiful family and God provides for us. <laughs> he really does provide for our family because with his graces and his love, our children always are fed and we are always fed and it's a blessing because there's so many people out there who are struggling right now and struggling before these times and even struggling even harder you guys with getting the basic essentials from day to day from, for a week you know sometimes we got to take it as get what we need in that day what can we make within that day and get those items and provide lunch breakfast lunch dinner <laughs> and a snack so i just wanted to share with you guys like look how much these items came up to and it's not even a lot that i bought and our family needs so much more you know what i mean family is seven and i'm already over a hundred dollars for those little essentials like this is crazy it's so crazy how real it is and how hard it can get, you know, for just buying a few little essentials. But I, you guys, I hope that I show you guys kind of like a realistically look of, of what a few little items um, can run up to. You know what I mean? Because I say that because, you know, like things are, it's, it's not cheap. It's not cheap at all and some people can can get things and splurge a little bit and you know and be okay and have the the you know the things that they need and then some but then there's some out here you know that they're going through it and they can't get everything all at one time and you just pinching for you just getting a little as you can and and it can add up so fast you can't just go to the grocery store anymore and just be like, okay, I'm going to, I got this $20. I'm going to get this, that, and that, and that for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and so on and so forth. You can, but you got to think, is my children going to eat that? Is this food going to go to waste? Yeah. So many thoughts, so many plans, so many ideas of trying to figure out what to do, how to make a meal, and stay within a cost-efficient budget. If you on a budget and also just staying within a good amount, you know, <laughs> I saw this one family where they had a whole shopping cart full of ramen noodles. And I'm just like, um, you know, I wonder what are you guys going to do with all those noodles? And it's like, this is our, this is what we, this is how we eat. And basically they just have a lot of noodles and they get veggies and they get meat or whatever they're going to put with it. And they make a meal out of it. And their family just love ramen and this is the way that they survive, you know, get some cheap ramen noodles and make a meal out of it with whatever you add to it as toppings. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini grocery haul. Very mini. I hope you um, got an idea of the realistic of how quickly things can add up. I will show you guys my receipt at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. And I know you guys haven't seen my face in like so long. And a lot of our family and friends here on YouTube have been wondering, where is Nicole? <laughs> I'm right here, you guys. Every time you get a comment back from me on one of the on the comment back on the videos, it's actually me coming in back to you guys. I have not been in front of the camera. There's been so much going on behind the camera and just trying to take care of things and balance things and figure things out with the grace of god and i'm slowly trying to get back in front of the camera for you guys and share a little bit about what's been going on so stay tuned for more videos um if you're new here i hope you guys like this video i hope you join our family by hitting the subscribe button please hit the bell notification so you know every time we post a video and just stay tuned guys we are still remodeling the kids room 
we had to put a halt to it because there's been so much going on. But literally, guys, the room is still the same way. We have not even touched it. <laughs> the boys are still sleeping in the living room. So that's not over. There's still more to come with that. And just more about how we've been doing. So stay tuned. Um, today, I forgot to say, is um, August 5th. Yes, guys, we're in August. School is almost around the corner. Um, back to school, and there's just so much going on, and times are just moving so rapidly. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me let you guys go, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned for that receipt. <laughs>